finally, the new accessories for Noticam's EMWL are here and we had a chance of testing them. How are they? What do we think about them? That's what we're gonna cover in today's video. Hi and welcome back to the Underwater Filmmaking School. Thank you very much for tuning in again. Now in a previous video we talked about Noticam's EMWL and why it is so useful and kind of revolutionary when it comes to filming underwater. Now at the time of filming this previous video some of the accessories that really make the EMWL very exceptional had not arrived yet here to the Fantic store and we just didn't have access to testing them with the lenses um, itself. In the meantime, they have arrived and we had a chance to test them here in the pond on location. And uh, as you can maybe see, the equipment is still a little wet. We literally just came out of the water about 20 minutes ago after having a quick test with the new accessories of Nauticam's EMWL. Now what are these accessories and why are they useful? First of all, if you don't really know what the EMWL does and why it is such a special piece of equipment, we'll link our previous video up here, so feel free to go and check that out first. There is also some uh, example footage taken with that lens combination, so you can um, have a look for yourself and see what can be achieved with that setup. But now let's get to um, the add-ons, the additional uh, accessories that have arrived in the meantime. There's four of them and we'll cover them all briefly. First of all, we have a uh, mounting system that we can use to actually mount uh, the lenses that we're not using at that moment. We can mount them to like a float or something and so we have them very accessible and very handy. We can use them here and we can exchange them even underwater. And put the other one back here. Very simple. It looks very simple as I've just done it here. From the experience that we've just had uh, in the pond, it is a little more complicated. I would recommend not having one of these um, attachment points, but rather two at least. Because that way you can take the lens that you're using, take it off, put it on an attachment point, take the other one off the second attachment point and put it um, in front of your, um, of your lens as the latest or the um, the, the last part of your lens actually. Having just one attachment point makes it difficult, especially wearing dry gloves as we were doing here in the pond because it is quite cold right now in Switzerland. Um, makes it quite difficult actually only having that one attachment point switching lenses underwater. So my recommendation is having um, at least two of these attachment points, maybe even three on all different um, of these floats. So you can then um, have all three different um, lenses, the 60, the 100 and the 130 degree on your setup at the same time. And it's gonna make it much easier for you to switch in between the different lenses, even while being underwater. Now the second really, really cool add-on and accessory that Nauticam has supplied is this one over here, which is basically like a little construction so you can put floats at the front part of the entire setup. Now this is absolutely crucial in achieving neutral buoyancy with this setup while being underwater. Um, you've heard it in the video before that um, it was really difficult at certain stages keeping the equipment neutrally buoyant and keeping that front part sort of in a horizontal position just because there's quite a bit of weight here and it tends to pull the entire set uh, downwards here at the front. Now having these att attachment points now here where you can attach floats, these floats then can help lift the entire thing up at the front which is gonna make it so much easier to achieve neutral buoyancy um, and just have the entire equipment perfectly balanced in the water. 
Now these floats here from WeFine, they are the ones that can actually be adjusted. So you can let some water into these floats wide around the water and you can adjust the, um, the uplift um, of uh, these floats. They work perfect with this setup and can trim it to really making it perfectly neutral. So I can highly recommend the combination of these two as it is right here. Another way how you can use these attachment points here is to actually mount lights right to the front of your system rather than have them sit here at the back. Obviously, why should we do this? Uh, or what is the goal of putting our lights to the front? Very simply, having our lights closer to our lens will give us a much better way of illuminating our scene. I don't try changing them underwater. I've tried just before in the pond. It's a nightmare trying to change that while you're underwater. So I would recommend doing that before you go on your dive. But having your lights, and I'll put this out of the way a little bit, having your lights up here, and even your floats a little bit more kind of in this position, you can now have your lights really, really close to your lens here and therefore have a much, much better way of illuminating your entire scene here. Keep in mind, if you put the lights to the front, they will put extra weight on the front of your equipment, on the front of the entire set, so you will actually need some extra flotation to compensate for that extra weight that you've added onto the front part of your equipment. But it is a really, really cool way of bringing that light really close to your object that you're filming, particularly useful if you're filming macro, like with the uh, 60 degree uh, field of view lens that comes with this set. Accessory number three that has um, arrived just newly here to the Fantic store is uh, the sunshades that are um, supplied with two of the three different front elements. It's with the 100 and with the 130 degree field of view. And these sunshades, obviously what they do is help um, control the flare that comes into your lens from the sun that comes into the water and uh, enters your lens. But also, and I find that even more important, these front elements can protect or will protect your actual lens. So um, as you've seen in the test footage with these kind of lenses, you can get really, really close to your object. You can still focus and especially with the 130 degree field of view one, you will still be able to get a very, very wide field of view and a very wide um, scene covered even if you get very close to your object. But sometimes if you get really close to an object, well, it can be a little tricky not getting too close to that object and damaging your lens. Having the sunshade on your lens, it will also protect your lens and you will rather bump the sunshade than the lens itself if you, for whatever reason, get too close to your object. And last but not least, number four of the new accessories that have arrived on the Nauticam EMWL is their flip mechanism. What this does is help you keep the entire setup to the side of your, um, of your um, dome or of your port, I'd better say. And if you wanna use it, you can then just flip it in front of it. And it works really, really well. Now it's basically, you can do it with one hand, flipping it over, tilting it, pushing it in and you've got it there and you can start filming using the EMWL. When you're done using, now this is for example the 60 uh, degree field of view that is on there right now, when you're done using that one, you can quite easily and quickly get it out of the way and continue using whatever macro lens you've got inside your port there. Um, so that's the last one of the accessories that has arrived here now for the AMWL and the last one that we were able to test. And there you go, those are the extra accessories that we've uh, had a chance to test out for Nauticam's EMWL. Um, I can honestly say that all of these accessories do a really good job, they work quite well and they really do make the handling of the EMWL very, very, very manageable and actually a lot of fun to use that piece of gear in the water. 
My favorite, my personal favorite is definitely the attachment points for the floats so that you can keep the entire setup or get the entire setup neutrally buoyant. For me, that's the absolute biggest improvement with these accessories because it makes using the whole set so much easier, so much more fun. And I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna use it much, much more often now that the accessory is here and I know that I can get it perfectly neutrally buoyant. And to wrap up today's video, question of the day, guys, have you used the EMWL yourself yet? And if so, have you used it just as it is or with the new accessories that are available? Please let us know down in the comment section below. We're really curious to see and find out what you think about this, in our opinion, amazing piece of underwater imaging equipment. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thanks for your time. If this video was useful to you, if you got something out of it, please do hit that like button. You know it means a lot to all of us. And also consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future content that will be uploaded here. Until next time, happy diving, and I'll see you in the next video.